हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू एवीके ऐप रिव्यूज टुडे आई एम गोना गिव द रिव्यू फॉर एओएसआईपी रोम फॉर नेक्सस 5 नाउ दिस रोम इज बेस्ड ऑन एओएसपी विद लेयर सपोर्ट सो लेट्स मूव अहेड एंड चेक आउट द इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस फॉर दिस रोम नाउ फॉर इंस्टॉलेशन यू हैव टू गो टू दिस एक्सडीए थ्रेड दैट इज एओएसआईपी 5.1.x I will post the link for this thread in my description. Here you will get the ROM file. From here you can download the ROM file, and you can use any D apps that is compatible with 5.1 as per your choice. It will work with this ROM, and you have to flash both the file that is ROM file and the G app file in the recovery. So it's a very simple and easy process. Now let's check out the Android version provided by this ROM. Now this ROM is based on latest version of Android that is available for Nexus 5. That is 5.1.1 as you can see and I am on the latest build of iOS app that is RC4 that, that is built on 3rd of May 2015 and the build number is LMY47V. Now it's time for benchmark score for this ROM. with different kernels now i have tested this rom with four different kernel including stock kernel so these are the benchmark score for this rom with different kernels as you can see the elemental x kernel has higher benchmark score as compared to other kernels now let's check out the battery performance for this rom now i have tested four different kernels with this rom now all the battery stats that i am going to show are taken under following conditions So these are the battery stats for this ROM with four different kernels. So as you can see, all the four kernels have good battery life. But I have observed that the Elemental S kernel has less SOT as compared to other three kernels. The average SOT for this ROM is about three hour fifteen minutes to three hour forty five minutes. I would like to say you must stick to a stock kernel. It is a good kernel with a good performance and better battery life. Otherwise, you can go with any other kernel as per your choice. All the kernels work perfectly with this ROM. Now let's check out different customization option available on this ROM. Now as you can observe, this ROM has different settings layout as compared to other AOSP based ROM. Now in this ROM, they have provided different tab in setting menu called AOSIP where you can find all the customization on this ROM. So the first is Owl's Nest. Here you can find all the customization available on this ROM. So the first option is status bar. Here you can customize clock and battery. That is, you can customize the clock style. That is, center, left, or right. Then you can enable AM, PM indicator and date for your clock. And also you can customize the battery status style. And you can enable the percentage of battery. Now the new option available on this ROM is that is greeting. By using this option, you can enable a custom greeting on your status bar when you unlock your phone. So it's a good option. You can enable it if you want. And next is the logo of this ROM. When you enable it, you can see a Owl's logo in status bar. So it's a cool logo. Now the next option is battery bar. Here you can enable the battery bar, and you can customize different option for the battery bar. And next is brightness control. You can enable the brightness control of status bar. Then you can enable the quick pull down from right edge of status bar, and you can enable the count for your notification. The next option is buttons. Here you can customize your navigation bar button. Then you can. customize the navigation ring targets then you can customize the dimension for navigation bar that is height and width of navigation bar here you can enable the clear all button and you can choose different position for the button that is bottom right bottom left bottom center as per your choice then you can enable the same button as the clear all task button it will clear all the foreground and background tasks then you can customize different volume button actions as per your choice Then next is you can enable double tap to sleep feature on your navigation bar, and you can also enable or disable the navigation search panel. The next option is notification drawer. Here you can customize the order of tiles, and you can also add or delete any tile if you want. Then you can customize other different options for your notification drawer. Then next option is lock screen. Here you can customize the shortcuts for your lock screen. 
then next is interface you can enable the gesture anywhere feature from this option by using this you can apply any specific gesture for opening or closing of any app as per your choice here you can customize different option for the gesture menu and the next option is expanded desktop so you can enable this feature for all the apps or you can customize it for a different app as per your choice now this rom also has a layer support so you can apply different layers for theming of this rom you can check out my channel for the info about the applying layers so these were the customization available on this rom now talking about the gaming performance of this rom the rom is pretty smooth in terms of gaming there is no lag or any issue while playing the games i have played some heavy games like modern combat 5 and it works perfectly on this rom Also in terms of multitasking the rom is pretty smooth this rom is blazingly fast in terms of switching app now it's time for final verdict about this rom now this AOSB rom is blazingly fast smooth and battery friendly i have never seen such a blazingly fast performance with any other AOSB based rom and the battery performance of this rom is pretty good i am impressed with the battery performance of this rom and i would say you must stick to a stock kernel while using this rom it will give you a best experience of this rom so i would say you must give a try to this rom it is really fast smooth and fluid rom available right now so go ahead and check out this rom so if you have any suggestion please post it down below in the comment section below i will appreciate it and if you and if you like this video please hit the like button below and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more such video You can follow me on Google Plus Facebook. Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in my next video.